for here. Basically, Barnet Tang. Barine Tang? Pretty sure it's Barine Tang. Who knows? How to care for them? Super simple. Any other Tang? Don't get this one wrong. These guys go for well over $300 when they're full grown adults if they got nice colors. I've seen them online for all the way up to $650. They're like a gem tang. They're a uh, diamond in the rough. You don't want to go wrong with these guys. They're a beautiful fish. Basically, seaweed. All the time, every day. Doesn't matter if he eats it or not. Make sure there's seaweed in the tank. He's always pecking at it. He is extremely camera shy. Notice I'm calling him a he, he has a liar tail, so I'm guessing it's a, gonna be a male. I got mine as a juvenile for $45. It was one of the only, I've seen two before, and this was, I had to pick them up for such a cheap price. Anyways, if he comes out, I'll show you him. He's got really nice colors on him so far. It's about an inch and a half. Anyways, back to the story. You want seaweed all the time? I always feed mine also an extra bit of pellets because he seems to like those too i feed him these the sakai harkari marine harborvore ones uh these guys love it too and right now he's in my qt tank just because i despise ick i have had a tank crash with it not a tank crash i shouldn't i shouldn't lie i've had just problems with it and it's a, it's gotten to the point where i couldn't add any fish to my tank so i uh, now quarantine all the fish every single one of these fish have gone through a 10 day quarantine it's a little dramatic but i i overdose on copper just slightly not not too much keep it at a, a little higher than therapeutic levels just so it's it's like really eradicating that ick so seven days it takes it takes seven days for ick to jump off of a uh, off of its host and then it'll bury into the sand to start breeding again so the moment it jumps off that fish it doesn't have that protective uh, scales or whatever's protecting it. It's usually eradicated just by the copper in the water. And then 10 days just to be safe. So to, uh, 10 days for all my fish that go in this tank. So basically, uh, I don't do flakes for any of my saltwater fish. I just do seaweed for the, for the tangs and uh, pellets for everything else. I despise flakes. They are the bane of my existence. So super easy just like any other tang don't go crazy with your parameters keep them stable and they do like a little bit more flow than normal fish they do get very big so it's recommended to have a 300 gallon by the time mine reaches about six or seven inches he's gonna be out of this tank he's gonna be somewhere else in a new home sold for a hefty price hopefully but other than that you really can't go wrong with these guys this this guy that i have in here is not a picky eater the moment i put him in he was already grazing off the algae cliff and everything he's eating pellets the moment i put him in he's just really camera shy i don't know why but the moment i pulled up my phone he's just like nope not having it super easy guys let me know in the comments if you have any questions about him all i've seen are videos about people selling them but no care guide videos about them but they're pretty simple just like any other tank if you find them, I highly, highly, highly recommend you pick them up. You will not regret picking one up. Go ahead and look up pictures of them. It's B-A-R-I-E-N-E -E, Tang. And you'll just see how beautiful they are. They're like the parrotfish of the Tang family. They're gorgeous fish. All right, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.